Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up or install soft Ether VPN server on Windows Server 2019 in GCP. Well, first of all, come to this page from the link that is being given to you in the description of this video. This image contains everything that you might need for soft Ether VPN on your Windows Server 2019. Now, after that, click on this launch button. It will take you to a new page, something like this. In this page, what we are going to do, we are going to create a new virtual machine. You can name your machine anything. Under the deployment name, I'll name it as Ether. After that, select your zone and then select the machine type with different resources. If you just click on this drop down arrow, here we have different machines that we can choose. Now scroll down, leave everything as it is and click on this accept button. After that, click on deploy and now it will start the process of deploying your virtual machine on your Google Cloud. So we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done here with the deployment and now against the RDP, you see a drop down arrow. Click on it and click on set Windows password. Here, give your username and make sure you remember that as well. So I'll name it as ether underscore vm. After that, click on set. Now you will use this username to connect to your Windows Server 2019. And after your username, it will show you a password like this. Click on to copy this to clipboard and then click on close and make sure to keep your password safe. Now search for remote desktop connection into your machine. So I'll just click on it. Here we need IP address of our virtual machine that we have created. So for that purpose, click on navigation menu and go to your compute engine. From here, copy your external IP address, which is right here. Now, after that, again, go back to the window for remote desktop connection and paste the IP address. Click on connect. Now it will ask you to enter your username and password. So enter your username and my username was ether underscore vm. And after that, write the password or paste it that you had copied earlier. It will prompt you with something like this. Do not worry, click on yes. And now it will open our Windows Server remotely on its own. Here it is, it is opening it up. So let's get it open and then we'll move ahead. Now from the desktop, we have a shortcut or icon for soft Ether VPN server manager. Just double click on that and it will open a window like this. From here, click on new settings and then you can name your setting anything. I'll name it as Ether and in the host name, again, we have to paste the external IP address that we had copied earlier and that we used when we were trying to connect to remote desktop connection. So I'll just paste that here. After that, have your port number. I'll go with 3389, then click on OK. We are done here. Now select your settings and then click on connect. It will show you something like this. From here, set the password for your settings. So I'll just do that. I'll confirm my password. And now I'll click on OK. Here it says password has been changed. Now here we have different things that we can do. We can go for the VPN server for remote access. We can also go for site to site VPN server and all of these offer different functionalities and features. For example, with remote access, you can access and connect to any existing ethernet segment that is available in remote locations. Then with site to site as the name suggests, this configuration will allow you to connect between two or more remote Ethernet segments. I'll go with the first one. Click on Next. Click on Yes. Here, give your virtual hub name. I'll click on OK because I'm OK with the default one. While here we have assigned dynamic DNS host name and down here we have IP address. Do not worry. Click on Connect via proxy server and just click on OK and you are good to go. And in case if you want to have a detailed guide on how to set them up and how to use them, we have a guide for you as a link given in the description of this video. I'll show it to you as well. So here if you see, here we have all the guide that you need. Scroll down and every step is defined very clearly. 
so basically as we were talking about that how we can set them up here we have a link just click on it and it will take you to something like this from here you can go with any option as per your liking if i go for remote access to lan it will open more explained guide so just follow the steps from here and you are good to go as you can see all the steps are defined in very details now from here if you see here it says enable vpn azure not connected so just click on this option and now you will have your status as connected here it says connected and now just click on ok after that here you can create different users i'll just click on that one and from here you can create one you can have your group name and it is optional and in case if you have already existing groups you can click on this option and then it will take you there i'm just okay for now i'll just click on cancel and i'll just get out of this and that brings us to the end of this video i hope that this video was some kind of help to you and don't forget to check out the guide for step-by-step -step installation and setup of your soft ether vpn on windows server on gcp and also don't forget to check out the page for the vpn server image for your google cloud and here it is and the links are in the description of this video and if you have anything to ask please leave a comment below we'll get back to you as soon as possible and i'll see you in the next video till then take care